Hi, reception. Thanks for joining us today for our PE lesson. Now, before half term, we were doing yoga and you did a super job learning all about different yoga poses and different yoga sequences using our poses. Now, we said that we might do some dance after half term, but we've decided to leave the dance until we're all back together in school. So we've got the whole of the hall to do wonderful dancing. So in the meantime, we're going to practice some of our main skills in using our body. But what do you need for this lesson? Well, first of all, I'd love it if you could go and get change for PE if you haven't already done it. It's really good for us to practice being able to get dressed for PE by ourselves. So if you haven't done that, I'd like to pause the video and go and get changed. Super job. Now what you're going to need is something to balance on your head. Now I've got a bean bag like this that I can balance on my head. Now I imagine you won't have a bean bag at home. That's fine. A really good thing that you could use that would be that would work that you should all have is a tea towel that you fold up and that you can put on your head. Or you could use anything else, the material helpers that you can fold up that your child could put on their head like that. Then you're going to need some things that you can put on the floor in your living room or wherever you're watching this, something on the floor that you can move around and move over. So we've got, I've got some cones. Now again, I imagine you won't have cones at home, that's okay. You could use anything else that your helper feels that you could put on the floor. That could be some books, it could be some teddies that you could go over, anything like that that you could go over. I've also got some hoops. Now again, don't worry if you don't have hoops at home. You could use some cushions that you could go on top of. So I'm going to use the hoops to step into and step out of. So you could use a cushion to step onto and, and, and off. Okay, so go and get the things that you'll need. So some things that you can step around, step onto and something to balance on your head. So pause the video now and go and get what you need. Super, super job. Now, in today's lesson, we're going to be developing our balancing skills while stationary. <sighs> Lots of things going on there. So when we did yoga, we did a lot of things on balance. I'd like you to pause the video and tell your helper what you remember about balancing. Well done. Balancing is when we use our body to be able to stay really, really still. We might balance on one foot. Some people balance on two hands. Wow, that's amazing. And then the other word. So we're going to be balancing while stationary. What does that word mean, stationary? Well, let's have a look. Here's our word, stationary. Stationary. Stationary means when we don't move. If you're stationary, you are not moving. So we're going to be practicing our balancing skills when we are not moving. So by the end of this lesson, you're going to be super at being able to balance in different ways when you're stationary. And you're going to know that what you need to do with your body to be able to balance really successfully. Let's get started. So first of all, we need to warm up our body. So to warm up our body today, what we're going to do, first of all, is walk in different ways. So we need to stand up. I might need to move my video. Let me see. I think we're okay. So we're gonna stand up in a nice space. Now, first of all, I want you to look to see what you can see around you. You might have a sofa. You might have a little table that you need to be careful of. So first of all, we're going to Think about how we can stay safe and what we need to avoid. So have a quick little look at your helper if they can help you to find some things that you need to be careful of. Super. Now let's warm up our bodies. So we're going to walk on our tiptoes. So wiggle your toes. And then you're going to stand on your tiptoes. We're going to walk around the room on our tiptoes. Well done. Walking slowly on your tiptoes. Can you walk a bit faster on your tiptoes? Oh, can you go really, really fast on your tiptoes? Well done, super job reception. Now we're going to try and walk on our heels. Do you know where your heel is on your foot? So here's the foot, your heel is that back bit there. So we're gonna try and walk on our heels. Now to do this, you have to sort of point your toes into the air. 
you try and walk slowly on your heels. We look a bit like a penguin, don't we? Two little penguins moving around the room. <laughs> and now, can you go a bit quicker? Oh, it's quite tricky, isn't it? I can feel my body warming up. Super duper reception. Now we're going to try and walk backwards. Now, if we walk backwards, we need to be careful that we're looking over our shoulder so that we don't bump into anything. We're going to walk normally. We're not going to walk on our toes or our heels. We're going to walk normally. Can you walk backwards? Shall we try? Ooh. Bye bye. <laughs> Super job reception. Now we're going to walk, the last one we're going to walk sideways like a little crab. So we're going to stand in front. We're going to walk sideways. You can cross your legs over. Look. Walk sideways. Bye bye. Super, super job reception. We have warmed our body up. Now, if you want to do any more of that, you can pause the video and have another go. Now, we're going to have a little practice of some of our balancing. So we're going to play the game that we've done before in yoga called body parts. So we're going to walk around the room. I'm going to say a body part and you need to touch the floor with that body part. So I'll show you first. So I'm walking around the room and I might say hand. So I'm going to bend down and touch the floor with my hand. To make it harder, remember, we can put our leg up if we want to. Right then. So we're going to walk around. And now let's try that one. We're going to do hand. So touch the floor with your hand. Put your your foot up if you want to. Super duper. Keep walking, keep walking around your room. And we're going to do elbow. Can you touch the floor with your elbow? <gasps> Let's see, can you go all the way down? Yay, there we go, fantastic. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and I want your helper to, ask, to say different body parts to you. So walk around and, do, and your help will tell you different body parts to touch the floor with. If you want to make it harder, you can do different movements. So you could skip, you could hop, you could jump. Okay, pause the video now. And I want you to have a little go at playing body parts on your own. Super, super job reception. Now we're going to talk about balancing. So we were super at balancing during yoga. And we're going to think a little bit more about balancing now. So there's three things we need to do to balance really successfully. So if we're going to balance on one foot, are we going to balance on our toes at the moment? No, we walked on our toes earlier, but we're not going to balance on our toes. Are we going to balance just on our heel? No, we're not going to do that either. So we need to balance on our whole foot. So our whole foot needs to be on the floor. That's number one. Number two is something to do with our eyes. That's strange, isn't it? When you're balancing, what you have to do is use your eyes to look at something in the room or wherever you are that isn't moving. So if you can fix your eyes on something, so I'm going to fix my eyes on our display board over there, I'm going to show you. But there's our display board, the green display board. I'm going to focus on that with my eyes. So number one is flat, our feet flat on the floor. Number two look at something that isn't moving so i'm looking at our green board over there so i'd like you to find something in your room that you're going to focus on that you're going to look at super job then the third thing is while we're learning to balance is to have our arms out to the side so that's number three so let's just remind ourselves foot flat on the floor what was number two to do with my eyes that's it i have to look at something that isn't moving and I'm not going to move my head, I'm not going to get distracted because that will make me wobble. I'm going to look at that thing that I've chosen and I'm going to stare at it. And then what do I do with my arms? That's right, I put my arms out to the side. Let's have a go. So let's see, I'm going to find a nice big space and my foot, I'm going to choose my right leg, but you can decide, you can have a practice on both, see what you rather do. So my foot is flat on the floor. It's not up, my toes aren't up in the air, and I'm not up on my toes. My foot is flat on the floor. Okay, both my feet are on the floor to start with. I'm going to find my, the thing that I'm going to stare at. So I'm looking at my green board. Decide what you're going to look at straight in front of you that's not moving. Arms out to the side. And I'm going to lift my foot up like that. And you can see, pause the video and see how long you can hold it for. To make it harder, you can push your leg back 
to make it harder, you can try and look to the side. That makes it harder because I'm moving my eyes. But each time when I'm doing that, I'm coming back to the thing that I'm looking at. So if I look to the side, I'm looking back to my green board to get make sure my balance. I'm not going like this because I'm all to fall. I'm looking carefully to the side, back to my board. Look to the side, back to my board. Well done, reception. We're getting really good at knowing how to balance. So now we're going to need to use the thing that you're going to put on your head. So I've got my bean bag. Here's my bean bag. You could have your tea towel or your towel folded up, whatever it is that you're going to have. And I'm going to put it on my head. And I'm going to try and keep it there. So I'm going to have a go first. It's on my head. I'm going to remember how I balance. So both my feet are flat on the floor. I'm going to look forward. My arms are out. I'm going to carefully bring my foot up. I'm going to keep looking at that, that point in front of me, my green board. And I might even use my yoga techniques of breathing to help me stay focused. I will see how long I can hold it for. Okay, reception, we're going to have a go together. So get your beanbag or whatever you're using. Place it on your head. Nice straight neck. Oh, what do we need to do with our feet? Oh, they've got to be flat on the floor. So get your feet flat on the floor. Now, what do we need to do with our eyes? That's it. We have to look straight ahead of us. Arms to the side. Fantastic. And lift up your leg. Keep your head nice and still. Neck nice and long. Fantastic. Look at your balancing reception. You have done a super job. If you want to see how long you can hold it for, you can pause the video and have a little go. You could even have a go at balancing on your left leg or, the, or your right leg, whichever one you didn't do. Now we're going to have a little go at balancing on different parts of our bodies. So we balance on our head. This time, I'm going to balance the bean bag on my arm. And I'm going to try and move my arm carefully in different ways. I'm doing little circles. <gasps> Uh-oh, it fell off. I wonder why it, fe it fell off. I think I was moving it a little bit too quickly. I'm gonna try again. I think I went too far down and it fell off. I'm gonna try and go up. And down. How far down can I go? Oh, I can feel it slipping up and down. Now I'm being really controlled with my body. I'm not waving my arms around. I'm being really controlled with my body. Now, I'd like you to have a little go with your beanbag or whatever you're using. I'd like you to have a go at putting your beanbag on different parts of your body. You don't have to walk around at this point. We just use moving your body that you've got the beanbag on. So I might put it on my hand and move my hand around carefully. I might put it on my foot and see if I can move, use all my balancing to move my foot. So I'd like you to pause the video and have a little go at moving your beanbag on your body in different ways. Think about what we've learned about balancing, that we need to keep looking at that point. We need to make sure that we are breathing and that if you are, if we are on one foot trying to do it, keep your arms out to the side to help you with your balance. OK, come back for part two of the video. I said pause it, but actually we're going to go to part two. So come to part two of the video where we're going to start moving around while we've got our beanbag balance on different parts. So see you in a minute.